hello and welcome to crack so it today in this tutorial video i'll show you how to fix the adb side load not working issue and the cannot read file error on cmd while installing a rom on your android device i'll walk you through seven different methods that can help you troubleshoot and fix this problem if you have ever tried to install a custom rom on your android phone or tablet using adb side load you might have encountered an error message that says error cannot read file this error can be frustrating especially if you are excited to try out a new rom and cannot get it to install but don't worry in this tutorial i'll provide you with the knowledge and skills you need to successfully install roms using adb side load without encountering any of the errors whether you are a seasoned android user or just started with custom roms these methods will help you to get the job done and to top it off i'll also demonstrate how i fixed this problem practically so let's get started and fix this issue once and for all before we start it's important to understand what adb side load is and how it works adb android debug bridge is a command line tool that allows you to communicate with your android devices from your computer with adb side load you can transfer files from your computer to your device and install them using adb commands one common cause of the cannot read file error is a mismatch between the file you are trying to install and the version of adb side load you are using make sure that you have the latest version of adb installed on your computer and that the rom file you are trying to install is compatible with your device another possible cause of the error is a problem with the usb cable or port you are using to connect your device to your computer try using a different cable or port to see if that resolves the issue if neither of these solution works uh, there may be a problem with the file itself in some cases the file may be corrupted or incomplete which can cause errors during the installation process try downloading the file again from a reliable source and see if that fixes the problem in the next section of the tutorial we'll walk you through this step by step process of fixing the cannot read file error when installing a rom using adb side load so stay tuned now let's move on to the step by step process of fixing the cannot read file error when installing a rom using adb side load check adb side load version the first step is to check that you have the latest version of adb side load installed on your computer to do this open a command prompt or terminal window and type adb version and press enter this will display the versions of adb that's currently installed on your computer if the version is outdated download and install the latest version of adb from the android developer website and i'll provide its link in the description section below verify file compatibility the second step is to make sure that the rom file you are trying to install is compatible with your device check the xda developers forum or the rom developers website for information on the rom's compatibility with your device make sure you download the correct version of the rom for your device make windows compatible with large adb address by default window is not designed in such a way to accept large adb addresses so in case you are trying to perform adb side load on a comparatively larger file thus being unaware of the situation windows will fail to appoint the required memory to the file thus in order to fix the problem make the window pc compatible with the large adb address to do this open the command prompt as an administrator and run the following command this command will increase the user virtual address space to 3 GB. Then restart your computer after running the command. Verify ADB connection. If you are still experiencing the cannot read file error while installing ROM using ADB side load, you can try the next workaround. Ensure that there is no interference in the ADB connection between your smartphone and Windows PC. To do this, you will need to enable USB debugging from your Android smartphone. And enabling USB debugging on your phone is easy. You can easily enable USB debugging after enabling developer options from about phone section. After enabling developer options on your phone, connect phone with PC using USB cable and open CMD on your computer. In CMD type ADB devices, 
and hit enter and some numbers will appear which indicates your phone is properly connected to computer and if it asks for permission to grant on your phone then grant it as well restart adb the fifth method is to restart the adb server to do this open a command prompt or terminal window and type adb space kill dash server and press enter then type adb space start dash server and press enter this will restart the adb server and may resolve any issues that were causing the cannot read file error use twrp recovery if you have already unlocked the bootloader of your android smartphone there's an alternative method you can try instead of going through the above mentioned steps you can use twrp recovery to resolve the problem however it's essential to make sure that your device is compatible with custom recovery and can directly install custom rom from internal storage micro sd card or otg cable through custom recovery while this may not be a proper solution it's an alternative method to try if you encounter the error so if you have tried all the above methods we have discussed so far and none of them have resolved the cannot read file error while installing rom using adb sideload there is no need to worry i have a new method to share with you that can help you fix the issue in fact i'll demonstrate practically how i fixed this cannot read error that i faced while installing pixel experience using adb sideload method by following this method you should be able to install the rom using adb sideload without any issue so for this first of all i'll show you that my phone is properly connected to computer i'll open cmd and type adb space devices and hit enter then as you can see it's showing the list of attached devices as my phone is in adb sideload process as well but when i try to sideload a rom zip file it is giving me cannot read error so in computer you need to download these two files from the description section below first one is adb setup and second one is platform tools zip file at first install this adb setup right click and run it as administrator and then type y button on every command to install this driver and then click on next and click on finish now adb drivers are successfully installed on our computer now we need to extract platform tools zip file so simply right click and extract it with the help of any extractor and as you can see this one is the extracted folder now we need to transfer our rom zip file into this extracted platform tools folder and make sure this platform folder is in desktop section if you keep it in other drive or other place it won't work so i'll arrange them side by side and simply drag that pixel experience plus rom zip file to this platform tools extracted folders now i'll expand this platform tools folder and then click on this empty area on address bar and type cmd and hit enter and then command prompt will appear again i'll arrange them side by side so that it will be easy to do further process here in cmd type adb space devices and hit enter to check whether device is connected or not and yes it's connected as it's showing the list of attached devices and make sure your phone is running adb sideload process through custom recovery now type last command which is adb space sideload space and then drag that rom zip file from platform tools to cmd and then simply press enter button from the keyboard and then it will start its side loading process which will start with 1% and end on 47% on many devices and this process will take about 5 to 10 minutes so i'll fast forward this process so almost after 5 minutes the process is completed and at the same time phone will also reboot to system or we need to tap on reboot button and then you will have your desired room on your device and that's it you have successfully learned how to fix the cannot read error while installing custom roms using adb sideload by following these steps i have outlined in this video you should now be able to troubleshoot and solve these issues on your own if you find this video useful then please don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to cracksweet also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye